Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little different. I'm going to try and make a game using Unreal Engine 5 without using the internet for anything. No tutorials, no assets, no nothing. That means I'll be making everything from scratch, including the models, textures, music, sound effects. It's going to be a challenge, but I have no choice as I have just moved house and my internet nearly two months later is still not up and running. Also, I apologise for how I sound through this whole voiceover. I currently have COVID and it sucks. With that out of the way, let's begin. Okay, so I've had an idea for a little game in my head for a while now. I live by the sea and a constant sight is the seagulls doing little tappy taps on the grass, which I've always assumed was to encourage worms to pop up their heads and I've got no internet to prove myself wrong, so that is what they do. So I thought this would make a fun little game jam scope kind of sized game where you control a seagull and you have to do tappy taps and then eat the worms almost like a whack-a-mole type game. First things first then, I had to start up a new Unreal Engine project. I wasn't sure if this idea was even going to be feasible as I wasn't sure if I'd be able to open up UE5 without an internet connection. But thankfully you can. I checked Unity as well and you could open that too without the internet. One of the first issues I ran up against though is I couldn't fully remember how to use the new input system within Unreal. I'm relatively new to it and it's only become the standard since UE5.1. So I spent a little while trying to remember how that all works to get some movement going. After the controls were set up, I needed something to get moving around, which in this case was the seagull. But despite growing up in a seaside town and seagulls being a daily sight, making a 3D model of one from scratch with no reference was hard to say the least. And at first I ended up with something very cursed. But hey, it was something seagull shaped. Next up, the seagull needed something to eat, so I moved on to making the worms, which were slightly easier to model, but no less cursed. With the models done, it was time to animate them, making a walking animation for the seagull and a wiggle animation for the worms. I then created textures for both models so they weren't just grey messes. With the models, animations and textures done, I figured it was time to actually start implementing some gameplay. For the sake of speed, I was doing this in blueprints and I wasn't being particularly efficient or using like best coding practices, which I feel is fine for little projects like this. The basic idea is the worms have a few timers running for when they should animate up and animate back down. I ended up indicating there was a worm underground with these dark grey circles. The player then needs to hold the spacebar to fill up their stamp meter and once full, any worms in an area around the seagull will rise up. The player then has a random amount of time before the worms go back underground and you need to eat them as quick as possible. So with the main gameplay loop done, I created a ground texture and made a small fence model to keep the player within the game area. I ended up making the play area smaller for performance reasons at the end though. Next up, I needed to get a small bit of UI to show the time the player has remaining, along with how many worms they've eaten. The basic goal here is to eat as many worms as you can before the time's up. This completes the loop then, allowing for a challenge and a definite ending. Then, with the first pass of the actual gameplay out of the way, it was time to implement sound effects. Now, normally, this is a place I'd go running straight to the internet to like free sounds, um, but in this case, I'm going to have to make them myself. So, it was time to make some weird sounds into the microphone. The first thing I did was some caws for the seagull. Caw, 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 caw. <laughs> The dog's not impressed. Followed by some disgusting wet sounds to emulate a wiggling worm. And then finally I crinkled some packaging to use for when the worms dig up out of the earth. And then once implemented in the game, they sounded a little something like this. Something was missing though, and that was of course, music. Again, I had to make this from scratch, I couldn't just go get something from the internet, so it was time to boot up FL Studio. I'm very new to making music in FL Studio, as in I probably have about 4 or 5 hours total time in it so far, but I was comfortable enough to make something at least, no matter how lame. So I got to work coming up with a nice chord progression and landed on this.
I was using the Flex Synth within FL Studio and I settled on this preset which made it very chirpy. I left it playing around the game and thought it fit the vibe quite well. So I decided to structure the rest of the track around this and this is what I came up with. Implementing this into the game was as simple as starting it playing in the level blueprint on begin play. And this is how the game is with all of the sounds in place. Okay, so it's not the best game ever, and I won't be winning any awards, but I really like how it turned out considering I made everything from scratch using just my noggin, and I didn't have to rely on the hard work of others to copy and paste from, and certainly no chat GPT. This was a fun little challenge to pass the time while I have no internet, and two months later I still don't have internet. Wait, how am I supposed to upload this video?